Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be going into the Kat Von D Lolita palette. I picked this up recently and I thought it'd be fun to show you guys a look using this palette. So that's what I have on my eyes today. And I'm also going to be testing out the eyeshadows doing swatches and letting you guys know my initial thoughts on the product. So if you're interested in learning more about this palette right here, then just keep on watching. And before we get started, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button down below if you love curly hair tutorials or makeup videos like this one and hit the little bell icon to make sure that you're notified whenever my new videos come out. Hey guys, so I have my foundation on and now what we're going to do is test out the new Lolita palette and see how this works. Um, I feel like this is going to be a very wearable palette because we have all of these are like very pink tones. They're pretty neutral in um, in terms of how bright they are, they're more muted. So I think that they're going to be very wearable for everyone. And so let's test out how these look. I have a few brushes here for the application. I have a flat brush, um, a very fluffy eyeshadow blending brush, a more tapered blending brush, and then a pencil brush. So some brushes I think everyone, um, not everyone has, but a lot of people tend to have when they're first starting off with makeup. So hopefully you guys will be able to follow along with this look. We're going to start off with a light dusting of the lightest color in this palette called Promesa. And we're going to put that right under the eyebrow to just brighten a little bit. Um, so I, I like to do that first sometimes just depending on the look um, so that we make sure that all of those eyeshadows that are going into the crease are able to fully blend into that color and there's not all of a sudden at the very last second we're applying that highlight under the brow and there's like a very awkward streak so just trying to make it look a little bit more diffused and blended. So we're going to go in with that flat brush, tap off the excess and just very softly highlight under the eyebrow. So for this, I like to hold my brush back towards the end of the brush to make sure that I'm applying this with a light hand. And I'm blending it downward a little bit. Next, we're going to go pick up our very fluffy blending brush, this dome brush right here. It's huge. Um, and we're going to pick up the color. Emosa. This one right here, it's like a very light, purpley, dusty color. And I feel like that's just such a beautiful shade to add in as our transition shade. So just tapping very lightly. And then applying with very broad light strokes. So again, holding my brush back a little bit. And we're going to start in the outer corner and then just blend inward a little bit. And honestly, for an everyday look, you could probably cut it quits here, apply some eyeliner, some um, mascara or lashes, and you could call it a day. And I think that would actually be a really beautiful, subtle look. So you can definitely achieve everyday looks with this palette. I think it's very versatile. But let's move on and make this a little bit more intense and see the depth of color that we can achieve with these colors in the same kind of hue and palette, um, but with these different intensities and tones. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the color Lolita, which is this beautiful brown pink. I feel like all of these are brown pink, so I don't know how to describe this differently. But it really is a beautiful color. If you know the lipstick, this is very, very similar. So we're going to pick it up with that more tapered blending brush and focus it on the outer corner, blending into that transition shade that we just laid down. So just tapping a little bit. I will say there is a fair amount of fallout in the pan from these eyeshadows. Um, but so far they're wearing really beautifully and they're not like crumbling apart or anything like that, so nothing to be worried about. So just applying lightly and blending inward. And a little bit upwards into the crease. Okay. 
So far, I'm really loving how smooth these eyeshadows are. They're just really buttery and soft. And underneath my eye, I don't have really any fallout whatsoever. So even though I'm getting a little bit in the pan, it's nothing that's transferring over to the actual application of the product. And I'm going to make this a pretty simple look. I think that these colors overall will make pretty similar looks because you you have very similar tones going on here. But I do want to add some depth, so I'm going in with Corazon, this um, beautiful like violet pink color. <laughs> I just want to add some some depth and some definition in the outer corner to complete this whole look. So using my pencil brush, I'm just picking up very little. Again, just tapping the product on and then tapping the excess off. I think this color is going to be super pigmented. So just right here in the outer corner, I'm going to define that outer V area. I'm going to wiggle that brush back and forth. Again, going very lightly. This is super pigmented, guys. For like a matte eyeshadow, I'm very impressed. It's very buttery and very pigmented. I'm going to go back with that tapered blending brush that we just used, not applying any more product to the brush, and just blending upwards so that definition in the corner can blend a little bit better with the rest of the colors that we've laid out. See, it's really very pigmented. I'm almost like stippling this color down. go in with a little bit more of Lolita to just to define this crease up here a little bit better. So moving this color upwards a bit. So I'm going to go in with a mixture of Lolita and Corazon to define under my eye, so we're getting those similar colors underneath, balancing out the eye look. So I'm just going to put my pencil brush right between my lashes on the lower lash line and just wiggle back and forth slightly. Definitely very wearable. Let's apply a little bit of eyeliner and some mascara and I'll be right back. I'm going to be using this really deep plum color, the darkest color in the palette called Eterno, this one right here, to define my lash line. So rather than using a traditional eyeliner, I'm going to go in with this slanted eyeliner brush and just apply a few dabs, just focusing right there on the lash line for a little definition. So no eyeliner, eyeliner. You can see it really is super subtle. Add a little baby wing, but it does add some really beautiful definition. Um, so let's finish off the look. I'm gonna lightly curl my eyelashes and skip fall sees this time. I'm just going to go in with some mascara. Again, I'm keeping this more every day for what people will actually use this palette for if you're going to school or work. And I'm going to use L'Oreal's Lash Paradise Mascara. I love this mascara, guys. It gives such beautiful, voluminous definition. So, 
I really like it. And I have like zero eyelashes, but they really like hold still. They curl. It's a really great mascara. So, if you're looking for a drugstore mascara, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Part of the voluminous line. It is awesome. I'm really loving this look and you really could just end it here, but I'm going to be a little extra. I wanted to find the inner corner a little bit with some shimmer. This is an all matte look right now, but I'm going to add in just a little champagne tone right in the inner corner. Now I'm going to finish off my face and we'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the final look using the Lolita palette. Again, I just did something really simple and everyday. Um, and I really loved how buttery all of the eyeshadows are. So let's do a quick swatch of each of these shades. So first we're going to go on with Promesa, that really light color that we initially used. It's super buttery. I feel like all of these eyeshadows are buttery. And the swatch is really hard to see, to be honest, and I think it's just because of my skin tone. But you can see, I just laid it right here, but it's pretty hard to tell that it's there. Um, but I didn't really like how it applied, so I feel like maybe just it doesn't swatch that great, but it looks good on, so no complaints there. Next we have Besitos, which is this really pretty light pink color. This would also be a great transition shade. We didn't use it today, we used Hermosa, this slightly deeper color, but I think this would also be a beautiful transition shade, especially if you have very fair skin. And that one swatches really beautifully. It is a dusty pink color, but very wearable. Okay, next up we have Recuerdos, which is a muted plum, similar to that last shade we used, but definitely a bit lighter. Um, and this is very buttery as well. That one swatched beautifully. There is a little bit of like fallout here if you guys can see. Um, so I feel like that was the case with a few of these that when I swatched them or applied them to my brush, I did have like some dust to really kick up, but it wasn't an issue when I applied them. So I don't know. I think I'll have to play around with it a little bit more. Okay, now we have Hermosa. Oh, it's not Hermosa, it's Hermosura, which is that transition shade that we first used. It's a reap. <laughs> And this is a dusty, dusty color. Again, this has some some dust kind of like kicking off of it. So I'm not loving that, but these eyeshadows apply beautifully. Like I said, I had absolutely no fallout under my eye. So a little strange that I'm getting it in the palette. Okay, up next we have Con Amor, which is this beautiful, dusty mauve color, I would say. This one's super buttery. Nothing really kicked up in terms of any fallout. And yeah, the swatch is like perfect, so really love that color. It's more brown when you apply it. Like a lot of these look very brown, and that's why I feel like this is a great everyday palette, even though it is like a very warm pink tone that maybe not everyone thinks that they can use, but it's really very, very wearable. So I like that. Okay, up next we have the famous Lolita color. Um, I'm not wearing the Lolita lipstick today. I do have it, but I didn't want to be like one tone all over, so I just applied some lip gloss. But going in with that color Lolita, that one swatched beautifully. No real fallout at all. That is such a gorgeous tone. I love it. Love it. I feel like this is a palette that you'll just reach for time and time again. When you want to have something that's a little bit different from your everyday, you don't want to have like browns and golds all the time. But this is just so wearable, like I've said a million times. Okay, next we have Corazon. This was that deep pink plum color that we used in the outer corner. Wow, it really is picking up a lot of pigment right there. A little bit of fallout, but not much at all. I'm not going to complain about that one. <laughs> And that one swatched beautifully. It's super buttery. And last but definitely not least, we have Eterno, this really beautiful plum color. Oh, so buttery. That one's so smooth. And it swatches beautifully. It almost looks black when you swatch it. It's interesting how these all look so brown and like neutral when you swatch them. 
but they definitely do have that like pink plum color that really draws people to this palette overall. So that right there is a Dittinal. So those are all of the swatches of the colors and you can see that they all apply beautifully. The only one that you can't really see is Promesa, but like I said, it applied really well. So I think it's just that my skin tone is similar to the color, so that's why it's a little difficult to see on my hand. Um, but all of them swatched pretty nicely. A few little issues with the fallout in the pan. Again, on my eyes, I had absolutely no issues with fallout. Um, so I'm not really concerned about it. I love the packaging. You have the magnetic closure. You have all of the names back here of the, of the shades. You also have them underneath the eyeshadows themselves. I just like when you can reference what shade you're, you're looking at in a palette because there's been time and time again where palettes make it a little difficult for you to know which shade you're using, which becomes an issue if you're trying to follow a tutorial or something like that. So yeah, I really love the packaging. It's that like cardboard kind of packaging that Kat Von D is known for. Um, it has the nice mirror, not like something that I would use every day or anything like that. But if you're traveling, this, I think this will be a great palette to just carry along with you because you do have a great variety of depth of color. So you could go with these lighter shades for everyday looks and at nighttime really amp up the look with some of these deeper tones. So I really, really enjoy this palette. Let me know what you guys think down below of this look that I'm wearing here. And if you have the palette, let me know your thoughts as well. Do you love it? Do you have any issues with fallout? Let me know. Um, and yeah, I think that this was a really fun palette to try out um, and I'm glad that Kat Von D is doing more and more releases because I really do love her line. So I really, really enjoyed this product and um, yeah, I'll be definitely using this um, for like everyday looks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if there are any other palettes that you'd like me to try. I'd be happy to film a video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to all my subscribers. Um, it really means a lot to me that you want to consistently see my content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!